and I know I said I fall back. Hey everybody, so if you don't live under a rock and you have natural hair, you've probably seen this video on Instagram. Yes, it is me. I cringe every time I see it because I feel like I look crusty, but I'm so grateful to have been a part of it because it's given myself and Natural Club a lot of exposure. So much exposure that Natural Club has been able to come out with a full avocado line. In that video, I reviewed the deep conditioner, which you can try for dry, damaged, or dull hair, but this line actually includes five additional products which are all natural so all natural that the deep conditioner actually has to be refrigerated when you get it and it's free from all of the stuff you don't want in your hair like sulfates silicones parabens so in this video i'm reviewing the entire line and i'm gonna show you how i use it to get this cute little style so subscribe for more videos from me and let's get started I'm starting on an old, old, crusty looking Bantu knot out and I'm doing it right this time. In my last video, I did it wrong. You're supposed to apply the deep conditioner to your hair before you wash it. So it has a gloopy type oily texture, which is super weird looking, but as soon as you put it on your hair, it goes on really, really smooth and it's easy to finger detangle. Um, I know with type four hair, it's not always achievable to finger detangle, but this product just like really melts in and it even defines my curls some. I was able to finger detangle through this entire section without any problems. Um, and so I'll link my wash routine in the cards so you can see exactly my process. But I'm just going to show you how the products work on this section of my hair. So I'm going to twist that up out of the way and apply a plastic cap and leave it on for 20 minutes to deep condition. So I washed that out and applied my braids like I usually do to all the remaining sections and I left this one to show you how the shampoo is and I was surprised that the shampoo was clear. I expected everything to be green because it's like avocado based but yeah it's a clear shampoo. It goes on um, as soon as you put it on it starts to suds up. I usually just apply this to my roots and then I'll use a scalp massager to really get it in there and if you do not have one of these you should definitely get one because your girl's eyes be rolling in the back of her head it feels so good so yeah I just rinsed all of that out and this is how my hair looks after it felt super hydrated actually so I'm gonna go with the conditioner which is a very very creamy texture it's not thick um, I was kind of surprised because I love thick conditioners but I'm like oh yeah I already deep conditioned my hair before I washed it so let's have to see, see how this goes I'm just gonna apply this to the entire section making sure I get it on the inside too and then work on detangling which was super easy since I had already finger detangled with the deep conditioner um, I got this uh, detangling brush from the beauty supply store for two dollars people always ask about it um, get you one it works well for type 4 hair so I'm just gonna braid that section up out of the way and finish the last section and now I'm going to um, like I usually do deep condition with this heat cap for 20 minutes and I'll leave a link to that in the description box um, after I rinse all of that out I just bring out some of the excess water before I add the leave-in and when I saw the texture of the leave-in I was like okay yes because I love thick creamy products that can coat my strands so I was excited about that so I just applied them all to my braids and just worked them in. I guess I'm using the lock method but with no C because I'm going to seal in my leave-in with their avocado oil. I've used avocado oil before. I love how it seals in the moisture because it's super fatty. It coats your strands and makes it nice and moisturized and shiny. So after that I just took out all the braids so I could style my hair. Um, and a few people requested more wash day styles because as type 4 naturals I feel like we always feel like we have to do a twist out. We have to do a braid out something that takes forever to dry so I'm gonna try to incorporate more wash day styles so this day I was feeling a zigzag part um, I don't know where my styles come from but yeah I decided to put in a zigzag part just taking my time with it it's really hard to part your hair sometimes when you're working by yourself so just be patient with yourself and have your mirror so you can check and make sure you're doing an okay job um, it's not perfect but I think it looks pretty good I'm also gonna gonna part a section down by my ear just like a little curved part and then I'm gonna take their curl custard which is like a jelly type texture and I'm gonna apply that to the section by my ear and just two strand twist that 
all the way down and honestly I don't know why I twisted up this section by my ear sometimes I just be flowing with my hairstyles and I just see what I come out with but afterwards that twist was looking pretty juicy so I was excited about this product I took the same curling jelly and just applied it to the perimeter of the section and brushed it in with a hard bristle brush and this part I was kind of like uh because it felt like the product was just sliding over my hair versus actually working into my hair and laying it down um but I was like let me just keep going with it and do my cornrow down the middle so I took my time with this too um taking really small sections so that I could actually do a braid because I feel like when you have very dense hair and you try to braid with too big of sections it's not going to work out um so take your time um you can also do a flat twist if you don't know how to cornrow so yeah I just braided that all the way down to the end and coiled it and finished the same thing on the other side I did take some edge control and put around the edges because all my styles I have to use edge control I like that type of look like I like my edges to be laid I like to look sleek so they don't have an edge control in this line so I just use an edge control that I like and I'm taking this tiny little toothbrush which you can find these at the beauty supply store and just laying down my edges and also laying down just like around the perimeter of the section to make sure it looks nice and smooth once I take my scarf off so that helped a lot I was pretty pleased with how it looked and here I go with the gold bobby pins again. I'm always using gold bobby pins. Call me gold bobby pin girl. I don't care. Um, I feel like it makes styles look not so basic. So I just applied them to the sides of my braid. And then I added some loft jewelry to Phoebe, which is my baby dread. And then I'm going to take the ends of the braids in the back and just kind of wrap them under and bobby pin them in so that they're not hanging down. Um, I just wanted it to be mostly a protective style and that's how it looks from the back so then I decided to release the little twist down by the side and definition was popping tin so honestly I would use this curl custard that they have more so for a twist out than to actually lay down your edges because baby look at this definition like I released it on the other side too and I was just like oh okay I'll just leave them down it looks cute so that is the style um, I hope you enjoyed Enjoyed this wash day style I hope that the review was helpful definitely support this brand um, black owned all natural the products work really well and congrats to the CEO she just got a million dollar grant from Shea Moisture to continue to make more products so I'm so grateful to be a part of reviewing them so namaste the light in me recognizes that all of you have a light and you've been enriching me so much so thank you for your continued support and um, I will see you on the next video.